Hello and welcome to another Tech Stuff Tuesday. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get uh, notifications on all of our new Tech Stuff Tuesday videos. And uh, don't forget to look back at all our ones in the past. The one that we're getting today is in reference to the last video, a little bit more in depth on fail small parameters. So I mentioned in there before that you can't just change one spec and you shouldn't focus on one spec. So I'm going to go over a little bit more detail as to why you shouldn't do that. So first things first, uh, everything with a speaker is a balancing act. Uh, if we make one change, it changes everything. So example, let's say we want to get a lower or higher FS. We can do that by adjusting the moving mass. We can add weight, we can use lighter parts, something like that. So let's say that uh, we're, we need to make this lighter. So we want this FS to be higher so we need less moving mass. We can do that by using a different coil. If we use a different coil, that can change the BL. So just in that one balancing act, we've got one uh, massive change there. So we can lose motor strength by having less material there in the coil, which would give us a higher FS because of less moving mass. We could also do the same thing by stiffening the suspension. If we stiffen the suspension, the QTS is going to go down, the VAS is going to go down, and in doing that, the FS will go up. So again, several things have changed. Um, other consideration if you're looking at just specs. Let's say you want to go just off of BL and you think bigger BL number is going to be better. Well, the reason that isn't the case is because if this BL number goes up, this inductance number also goes up and that's going to change your frequency response. It's going to change your transient response. There are several different aspects of how it's going to sound with a high LE number because you got more BL. So it may actually counteract that, um, especially at higher frequencies. If you're talking about 50, 60, 70 hertz, or like in mid-ranges, it will affect it a whole lot more. So that's a consideration there. Uh, other consideration, the LE is also going to be in relation to the RE. So just because, like in this example of a dual 2-ohm band hammer, uh, 15, this LE number, even though it's 5.79, that's not too bad because we're at 4 ohms. If this were 1 ohm, this would be very bad. The ideal scenario, you're going to be at or relatively close um, to having an equal LE and RE. A um, little bit higher isn't bad. Uh, that's a very small percentage higher but you don't want like double the RE or anything like that. And if you can get it under the RE, that's excellent. Um, that's very difficult to do while still maintaining a respectable BL. So that's your, your motor force. So any, if you cut motor force, you cut inductance. If you add motor force, you can add inductance. And the characteristic of that coil uh, to get your BL or your inductance is going to affect your moving mass, which is in turn going to affect your FS. So all of that changes. Also with the moving mass, we're changing QTS. So one small change changes all of those specs. In addition to those specs, the efficiency. So let's just say we add 50 grams of moving mass. We add the 50 grams, QTS goes up, FS goes down, um, BL shouldn't change, but if we did it with a coil, there would be a change there. VAS goes up, sensitivity goes down. That's Hoffman's Iron Law working there. One way that you can gain efficiency is by using lighter uh, moving parts, but that also affects your bandwidth. FS goes up, it's not going to play below FS as well. QTS will go down, VAS will go down, BL uh, 
will change depending on what you're doing to make that happen again to get your sensitivity up. Sensitivity is not the measure of exactly how loud it will be. Yes, it somewhat has to do with efficiency, but there are other factors included there. Uh, so as you can see from any of these changes, it affects things in another way. When you're looking at subs, don't compare only BL. Just because more BL, more motor force is better, no. Uh, the BL squared divided by RE, so in this case, 25.11 squared divided by 4.077, that's your motor force factor. That's what you should be comparing between subs for motor force. But again, we're not looking at motor force alone because inductance could be very high. And I can think of examples where they thought more motor force, everybody wants more motor force, it's gonna be louder. Inductance was very high, sub didn't perform so well. Uh, same thing, I, you know, I want a low FS. Okay, then you're gonna to need to soften the suspension, which is gonna make your VAS go up, which your mechanical power handling will go down. Uh, so you'll have to adjust that out with the box. The box may not be as efficient, may not be as loud. All of these things are connected in one way or another. And now you've got a little bit of an insight as to what all the things do. If you pay attention to the first video, um, exactly what changes and what effects that has going forward. So remember, don't look at one single spec about a sub. All of these are small signal parameters. If you plug these in to Basebox Pro or WinISD, they're not going to be 100% accurate. A large signal, you're gonna have a lot better accuracy. These don't tell you what's going to happen when the sub starts moving a lot. This is measured on like one watt of input. Uh, not enough to get it moving. Spiders act differently when it starts moving. Coil acts different. Distortion characteristics start showing up. None of that will be seen in WinISD or Basebox Pro. So keep that for a consideration as well. This should be only used if you understand the specs, and I can't stress that enough, if you understand the specs, should that only be used for comparison and don't take a model 100% for what it says. Use what you know and what you learn from these to know how it will really act that does not necessarily reflect the simulation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like on this video, comment below if you have any questions about any of these specs or how one will affect another in a given scenario. Hit the notification bell, so make sure you get notified for new videos, and I'll see you on the next Tech Stuff Tuesday.